Welcome to this daily dose class and in daily dose today we will be solving question of the day and it is related to what? The length of fillet weld. Okay. So this is a short introduction about myself. You can go through it. Okay. So let us start with what? Design strength of a fillet weld. Now what is the design strength of a fillet weld? The design strength of the fillet weld will be the load which the fillet weld can withstand. Now when I say about load, what is load? Load is stress into area, right? So this design strength of this particular fillet weld, of any fillet weld, will be what? Again I told it's a load. Load is what? Stress into area. So this will be the design shear stress, okay? The design shear stress of weld, okay? The design shear stress of weld into what? Into the area of weld. Into what? Into the area of weld. Into the area of weld. Yes. Now the design shear strength of weld is how much? It is Fu. Yes. Fu. The ultimate stress in the weld. Divided by root 3 into gamma Mw. Yes. What is this Fu? Fu is the ultimate stress. Gamma Mw is what? It is the factor of safety for weld, right? And this is 1.25 if you are going for a soft welding in a workshop. And it is 1.5 if you are doing in a field, right? This is the design shear stress. What is the area of weld? The area of weld will be the length of weld. Lw is what? Length of weld into what? The throat thickness. Into throat thickness. Yes. So this I can say is the design strength of weld or I can say the load carrying capacity of the weld. How much load the weld can carry. Yes. So this is the formula we got for the design strength. Yes. This is the area of weld and this is what? The stress. Yes. And this throat thickness is given by what? K into S. Where S is what? S is the size of weld. S is what? The size of weld. Now this K is a factor which depends on the fusion angle between the members or I can say two members are joined like this. This is the fusion angle, right? So this K depends on that. Yes. So the effective throat thickness will be what? As I told, it is simply K into S. It is simply what? K into S. And this particular K depends on the fusion angle. Between 60 to 90 degree it is 0.7, then 91 to 100 it is 0.65, 101 to 106 it is 0 0.6, 107 to 113 it is 0 0.55 and for 114 to 120 it is 0 0.5. You can see that this decrease is what? 0 0.05. You see, for each interval the decrease is how much? 0 0.05. You can remember in this manner, right? You can remember in this manner. And if nothing is mentioned in the question, you can assume the default value to be between 60 to 90 degree. And you can assume that K is equal to 0 0.7. In that case, if theta is not given, and in that case, the throat thickness will be what? It will be simply K into S, that is 0 0.7 into S. It's a default value if the fusion angle is not mentioned in the question, right? Now, coming back to the formula, as I discussed that the design strength of weld, you can say the load carrying capacity of weld will be the area of weld, length of weld into throat thickness. And throat thickness is how much? K into S into this design stress. This design stress is how much? Fu by root 3 gamma Mw. And this formula, Lw is the effective length of the fillet weld. Yes. Tt is the throat thickness. S is the size. Fu is the ultimate stress. And your PDW is the strength of weld, okay, so the load carried by the weld. And gamma MW is the partial factor of safety for weld, which is 1.25 for SOP and 1.5 for your field welding. Okay, let us solve one question. So I'll give you two questions. One question I will solve here and one question will be your homework, the answer of which will mention in the comment section. Now see here it is uh, given, the weld is given, right? Two plates are welded, okay, two plates are welded and 250 kilonewton load is acting. Right? So I can say this is the factor load. This is the factor load acting on this particular connection. Yes. Now you have to weld in such a way that the design strength of weld. Yes. The design strength of weld. Okay. The design strength of weld should be equal to this factor load. Yes or no? Because this much load is coming onto the 
joint and your strength of the weld should be equal to this, then only the weld can withstand this load, right? So now other, other data given, the other data given is that the ultimate, you see the yield stress and ultimate strength is given. That means what? Fy is given as 250 and Fu is given as 410. But in the calculation for strength of weld, we take what? We take Fu. The Fy is given just to confuse you, okay? The Fy is given just to confuse you. You have to use what? You have to use Fu only. You have to use what? Fu only, okay? So now gamma MW is also given. Yes. Now size of weld is given. S is given as how much? It is given as 6 mm. So from here I can find out effective throat thickness. That will be how much? That will be equal to 0.7 into 6. That is how much? That is equal to 4.2 mm, right? That is equal to how much? 4.2 mm. Because nothing is mentioned about the fusion angle. I will take what? 0.7 times. Easy. Very good. Very good. Now, we have to find LW and this overlap length. You see this overlap length, suppose this is suppose some X. Can I say the total length of weld will be how much? This is also X. Total length of weld will be equal to, you see, X plus 100 plus X, right? That is how much? I can say 100 plus 2X. So if you can find out this LW, if you can find out the LW, then what will happen? You can easily find out this X, right? If you can find out LW, you can easily find out this X, yes? So what we will do? We will directly use the formula. The strength of the weld was how much? It was Fu by root 3, gamma MW, length of weld into throat thickness is equal to, this is the strength of weld, that will equate with what? With the factor load of 250 kilonewton. This 250 kilonewton can be written as 250 into per 3 newton, right? So from here I can find out the length of weld. How? Fu is 410, then root 3, gamma mw I'll take 1.25, Okay, and throat thickness was how much we got? We got 4.2. This is equal to 250 into 10 to the power 3. Now from here, I can easily find out the length of weld. Let me find out for you. This is 250 into 10 to the power 3. Okay, then divide by 4.2. Okay, and then multiplied by root 3. Okay, and then further multiplied by 1.25. Then divide by 410. I am getting a value of 314.32. So this is the total length of weld. The total length of weld we got, right? So if we are given the factor load, we can easily find out the length of fillet weld in this manner. They're asking the overlap. This is the overlap, right, of two plates. So I can say that 100 plus 2x, yeah, this is the length of the weld. 100 plus 2x is equal to length of weld. How much are you getting? 314.32. So from here, I can get the x also. What will be the x? The x will be 314.32 minus 100 divided by 2. I'm getting how much? 107.16. If you do multiply two times 107.16, okay, and you add 100, you're getting how much? You're getting 314.32. So this is the overlap and this is the length of weld which we got. Yes. Now I have a homework for you also. This is the homework. Yes. Here you can see that welding is done only on two sides, right? Welding is done only on two sides. So I can say the length of weld is how much? 600 plus 600, 1200 mm. Yes. And here you see this is the size of the weld given. This is the size of the weld given. The ultimate stress is given, right? Gamma MW is given. It is asked to find out the factor load that can be applied. The factor load which can be applied, that will be equal to what? Strength of weld, right? So indirectly they have asked what? The strength of weld, yes. In the previous question, the strength of weld was given and we are asked the length of the weld. Here the length of weld is given, we're asked what? The strength of weld. This is going to be your homework, okay? So please solve this question and mention the answer in the comment section. Thank you very much. See you in some other video.